Hi, I'm Andrew Swan and I'm here with Sam Walkham. We're the team from AGBU who is behind the development of sheep genetics indexes. Today we're presenting a series of videos which describe the modelling within sheep object that which we use to develop the Merino Select Research Indexes. We hope you'll enjoy the videos. Next up we're going to talk about our new approach to building sheep indexes and how it's been used to develop research indexes for Merino Select. For some years now we've had the FP, MP and DP standard indexes covering a range of objectives from wool quality through to land production. But with outdated production and price assumptions, it's clear that an update is necessary. While the indexes haven't been updated for some time, the Merino Select evaluation itself has undergone major transformation, starting in 2017 when genomic evaluations were introduced, giving us the power to make gains in hard to measure traits. Then in 2021, a new evaluation for reproduction traits was implemented, further enhancing the system. And this year, we've also updated all genetic parameters following the redevelopment of the sheep genetics um, database system in 2021. Our current plan is to develop genomic evaluations for methane and feed efficiency in the next two to three years, and it's possible that other traits will come online as well. To modernise our indexes and take advantage of those developments, we've created a new sh sheep object software system from the ground up, utilising a much more comprehensive model. Our new model operates at the animal level, building a complete flock history over a 10-year period. Then we evaluate performance in the final year, tracking what happens to each animal on every day of the year. With detailed information about each animal's age, birth rearing type and reproductive status, we can then simulate various scenarios effectively. We can apply culling regimes, harvest wool, sell lambs and apply husbandry op operations in a totally flexible way to model a variety of systems. This new model incorporates numerous improvements such as precise feed, feed requirement calculations, separate valuation of reproduction component traits and the modelling of reproduction's impact on lifetime wool production. Moreover, we've included measures for ewe resilience via body condition score and integrated health and welfare traits, ensuring a more comprehensive and accurate representation. We'll delve into these enhancements in greater detail in other videos of this series. The development of these new indexes has been driven by industry consultation involving surveys with breeders, producers and other stakeholders. And the responses were grouped by production system environmental conditions, leading to the creation of five research indexes. These research indexes include maternal lamb, sustainable merino, high rainfall sustainable merino, wool production and fine wool indexes. This work represents a significant step forward in providing more relevant and accurate indexes for the industry. Importantly, we've integrated developments from the evaluation system, including genomically enhanced ASBVs for reproduction and other challenging to measure traits. These research indexes have been available for nearly a month now, running alongside the current indexes. And over the next year, we'll continue our consultation and refinement process leading up to the analysis updates in 2024, when the new indexes will become the standard.